Hey up people of the interwebs, um, so it is Sunday, the something date that I can't remember, um, but it's the motorist uh, with Furious Matt, oh he's angry, he's not really, he's really nice, um, at the motorist, so uh, we're just heading up there, hopefully meeting up with Rob from Beards and Bangers, Boaty from Boaty's World, Paul from Project Nigel should be there. Um, so yeah, should be a good one. So I'll, I'll spin you around and uh, we'll film getting in. Hopefully it's open because it says don't don't arrive till ten, but it was near, nearly ten, so it's good enough. It's good enough. So we shall uh, see what happens in a second. Margaret seems to have a sticky caliper again, so you'll hear when we go around corners. Sounds like there's a hamster in it. Just anywhere at the side. Okay, no. So here we are, but it's a bit windy. Uh, just having a bit of a, a walk around uh, the motorist at the uh, Furious driving meet. So I'll do a bit of a, a video of what we what we can see, and uh, yeah, should be should be informative. I assume you've all watched Rob's live anyway, which has got pretty much everything on it. But we'll have a look. I'll take some take some photos, maybe do some video, and, uh, and edit it all up. Nice little Saba estate. Because after all, it is the year of the Torah, eh? and it's just starting to rain, so that's useful. There's quite a lot of cool stuff around, and these vans are quite cool. There's a few of them down there; they seem to be quite popular. There's underscore Streetwise, nice little car. Uh, 
10. Uh, yeah, I think Rob from Beads and Bangers will definitely have one of them before, before I was going to say, before this month's out, it's the last day of the month, isn't it? So, maybe not. See what else we can find down here. Oh, there's a Rover limousine. So if you look at the rear door, it's like slightly longer than the normal on there. And uh, if I can see inside, we are getting loads of reflections. Can you see? It's got like a little um, drinks thing in the armrest. Quite nice. I think it's Connie SC uh, spec. Oh, there's a thing here. It says on here. Here's a thing. So, yeah. 200 millimeter extension on rear doors, two and a half litre V6, same gearbox as Henrietta. Uh, yeah, lovely. This seems to be here a lot. It's a quite a popular thing and really nice colour that. I assume it's the same one. It seems to be here all tight. I like them, really nice. A Torah again. Nice big Audi. This is where all proper cars are. So this gold Rover here is Rover Joe's gold Rover 25. Lovely little thing. Lovely colour. And he's done quite a bit of, bit of work on inside of it as well. It's quite nice. Got a ZR. Oh, we've got here. I might as well show you this. This is Matt from Furious Driving's Rover, and then we've got a Paul from this Project again. Nigel. This again? Nobody's. I'm not live. All right. Okay. I can just edit you out or put a, a face <laughs> over your face. Oh, what a face of my old face or the face of picture back of my head? There you go. I oh, could do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's yeah that's Matt 75 that he had a bit of trouble with on his way down but it's a it's a lovely thing nice color as well i think it's mark on motorings uh mcgann so again it's a lovely thing he's got a i think it, if it is this one he's got a custom-made stainless box on it i'll have to have a quick oh yeah it is lovely thing one of the best colours as well, that. And then over here, and this is the uh, the Joseph Lloyd uh, 45 V6. Lovely car. See if I can show you inside of it without getting loads of glare. There, you can just about see it. And it's got a sunroof as well. Bonus. Now we didn't we didn't head over here earlier with uh, with Rob's live, so I'm going to have a look over here, see what there is. So there's some motorbikes over there, but we're not doing motorbikes today. What are we doing? So we've got a Volkswagen Beetle. It's a nice thing. And then what's that over there? It's like some sort of Lancia. Yeah, Thema. Nice little thing. Like a three box design. Again, that's another lovely lance here. Right, what's this uh, Porsche McPorsche? I'm rubbish with Porsche McPorsche stuff. So I assume it's like a, a GT3 or something. That's quite nice. It's a lovely colour. Uh, 718, whatever that is. A big truck. There's a nice MGZT there, I didn't spot that before. So this is going to be pretty much like, like Rob's. Um, that he's brought on here. They're the wheels that I want for Henny eventually. I'm going to go and do blue. And obviously, everybody knows who that is Mr. Nigel with his broken uh, broken grill. 
And there's a 406 coupe. I'm just going to have a quick look at over here. So I've not seen one of these for a long, long time. But look how, how nice that is. What a lovely shape. Periferina style in. Apparently designed by, it, apparently people think it looks like a, a baby Ferrari. Um, Ferrari did a less than normal Ferrari powered coupe. But yeah, I like, the, I like this, the rear window sculpture. That's quite nice. Yeah, what a lovely looking thing. I definitely would have one of those in the fleet if they weren't silly monies. And uh, yeah, it'd have to be a V6 one as well. It's got Brembo brakes on it, unless it's got some stickers. Civic with white wheels. You can't go wrong sticking white wheels on cars. Oh, excuse me. Always makes it look shoot. It's uh, all stripped out inside by the looks of it. Yeah, like a proper track day warrior. It's a big old thing. What's that? I don't know what it is. It's big in America. We'll have a look back in a second. It's like a land yacht. A Cadillac. Very nice. It's uh, an MG3, which I'm still I'm still unsure of with these. I kind of like the shapes of them. The colours that they pick are really good. But they just don't seem committed enough to the to the hot hatch ideas. Like they, they don't seem to have got a, a lot a one that's like a flagship sports model. You seem to be lukewarm and that's it. But they look nice enough. And Vauxhall Vectra. These seem to be uh, coming into their own now. Um, I mean, these used to just look like bland rep mobiles, but there's something nice about that styling. That slab sided look on them. It's really good. So, did you wash your car when you got here? Obviously not. Were you not one of the two people I saw in the lay-by on the way in, washing the car before they came into the car park? Have you ever met me before? If you ever see me doing anything like that, shoot me. Immediately. Put me out of my misery. Sad swines. I know I said I weren't going to do bikes, but you can't not film a 959 Panagali. Look at the size of that. There's like a... The see-through clutch housing, is that what that is? That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a, what's that one? Triumph Trident, Ducati Monster, and a Yamaha MT-09. But that Panagal is quite nice and very expensive. Another blast from the past, they were a red one, but it's not here now. Uh, a Nova, this one's a Nova SR. Um, it looks like it's got groove discs on front. So I don't know if there's something particularly spicy under the under the bonnet or whether it's just been tarted up a little bit. It's a nice enough looking thing. It's lowered a bit as well, so there must be something special about it. I think it's a, an early one with them bumpers. Yeah, let's see these very often. Is this the same as Dwight's in the office? Is it an IROC 3? Quite cool. Even like a, looking like a nice, <laughs> well, faded red colour. It's just, it's just got everything, everything going for it. That let's have a look inside to what it looks like. Look, PC, quite good. I like that. Very nice. Camaro.